You guys want to rest here? I don't want Shion to get mad at us for dragging our feet. Alfin? She's the one that's kept us on track. Picked me up when I was down. Sure. I just thought she'd always be there. Fancy footwork. Does fancy footwork mean running away like a chicken? No! Oh. here. Might as well turn back. Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? What's with that shiny bow over there? to learn my secrets, young Nelson. Glad you have your uses. <laughs> Didn't even break a sweat.
think the animals back at the ranch should be all grown up by now. Gosh, the castle's even larger once you get close to it. What's that shining thing up top? A spirit vessel? It feels creepy, like it's watching over everything. You think he knows we're here? We best assume as much, yes. What we have to do is simple. Just beat Volron and rescue Xion. That's it. Try not to work yourself up too much. We have a lot of city and castle yet to traverse. Make sure to get some good rest. Well, off we go. We're almost there, guys. Don't let your guard down. <laughs> I'm excited just thinking about us barging through the front gate. Are you Alfin and his companions? Why would you think that? You are the only one scheduled to arrive, and there are no unscheduled arrivals in Ganeth Harrow. So I'll ask again, are you Alfin and his companions? We are. Then pass. Lord Voron is expecting you at Castle Del Fares. Well, suppose it's rather nice of them to roll out the red carpet for us. <sighs> so we're supposed to meet him in there? What do we do now? Let's see how things look around the city first. Then we'll make our way to the castle. Not a slave in sight. Where is everyone? There aren't even any soldiers. Something feels off. I don't like it. Like the fact that the enemy could ambush us at any moment? Yeah, not crazy about that either. No, not that. Something else. That must be Volron's castle up ahead. I suppose we just walk right up to it then? That's what the guard from before said. Now, if we only knew where they were keeping Xion, we could try to... That's it! Hmm? That weird feeling. It's not just that the city is empty. It feels like no one lives here at all. Now that you mention it, it does feel strangely... artificial. Think maybe it's a district just for the Renans alone? With all this open space? Seems unlikely.
What's going on? What was that about? They were Danins, right? That wasn't normal. Wait, you don't think it could have been the fruit of Helgen, do you? No, they seem too... docile. What about astral energy? Could you sense any coming from them? No, and I'm pretty sure I could tell if it was. If not that, though, then what? Speaking of which, it didn't look like there was anyone guarding them either. They were headed for the castle. I have a bad feeling about those boats. I get what you mean. It didn't feel like those folks are just commuting to work. The waterway they're floating on appears to lead to Del Faris Castle. If we follow it, we may learn more about what's taking place here. Man. This place gives me the creeps. La, your legs are shaking. What? Liar? Just kidding. <laughs> you... I've seen ghost towns that were more alive than this city. Where the hell did all the Danons and Renans go? So, any ideas what the deal was with that boatload of weirdos? Your guess is as good as mine. They looked like Danon slaves, but beyond that... This city is grander and more beautiful than any other we've been to, yet... I know what you mean. From the architecture right down to the people, something feels off somehow. I've long maintained one can glean a lot about a ruler from their city. Considering how unsettling this place is, I'd say I wasn't far off the mark. Despite its surface layer of majesty, walking around inside, it feels more like a hollowed-out ruin. I say we follow after that boat. If we're lucky, they might be in the mood to give us some answers. Looks like the only building up ahead is the castle, but... No good. It's a dead end. I don't relish our chances climbing. Or breaking through, for that matter. And yet, this seems to be the only way inside. Take a look around. There must be a switch or something to... Summoned by that murdering monster? 
It's all a demonstration designed to provoke. To prove to us, no, to Alfin, just what he's capable of. Kidnapping Xion. Killing all those people. If it's just me he's after, then why hurt them? Why do all this just to get at me? You hear me, Volron? Answer me! Alfin, this is not your fault. Don't give this to him. <laughs> I know. And I won't. My hands are stained with blood. But even so, if we're going to stop that bastard, then I need to keep going. Let's move. All of those people in the boats... Do you think they had any idea what was going to happen to them? They did a damn good job of concealing it if they did. You ask me, the only thing on their mind was following orders. And I bet I can guess who from. Volron. The only thing they knew was mindless oppression right to the very end. What kind of purpose is that? Living only to die at your master's whim? Being a slave means having your whole life stolen from you. In the worst cases, quite literally. That bastard will get what's coming to him. I'll see to it he does. Is this what I think it is? Those people... They were all... He's sick. Sick and deranged. Remember this well. This is the true face of who we're up against. <sighs> Still, if it's not fruits of Helgen he's using, then how do you think Volron goes about controlling all of them? They didn't look like they'd been threatened, but they didn't look like they understood anything either. It could be something else, like a potion, perhaps. But frankly, I doubt it. But that would mean they're following Volron out of choice? But why? Nothing bolsters a despot's authority more than loyalty. Loyalty is advantageous for any ruler. For Volron, it means acolytes willing to give their lives for him. As for whether they did it willingly or not, I'd say they're merely puppets dancing to their master's tune. But to the point where they'd give up their own life force? Is that even possible? You just saw it for yourself. And think back to when I was your lord. If I'd asked you to sacrifice yourself for some cause, would you have? <laughs> Dohalim. My apologies. My words got away from me again. No, you're... You're absolutely right. The only difference being that you never demanded such a thing. You wouldn't. All lords are masters in the art of manipulating their subjects' hearts. Whether they use fear, torture, or various other methods, the outcome is the same. Fear. No wonder there's no remaining signs of a resistance force in this place. Something's not right. Everyone. Everyone. And I'm alone. It's dark. Please help me. 
Shion. It's so dark. Everyone. We came to save you. It's okay now. Too potent to be the work of a single individual. It's possible Volron's manipulating her. We cannot tell from this far away. We need to be much closer. Only to do that. First, we need to get rid of the sword. So we fight fire with fire. Unless you have a better idea. You're mine. Quiver Dragon. I'm alone. I'm alone. I can't die. But I also can't live. Sion. I. Sion! We're coming for you! We'll let you down this time. Hang right here. It's nothing compared to what you're going through. I won't let you go again. I can take whatever you give me. So please, open your eyes. Sion! Tiger take blade. it! Dating pile driver! Just keep growing back. If this keeps up, then. Please wake up, Xion! Come back to us! I'm alone. Alone? I'm completely alone. You're wrong. Elfin! She thinks we left her all alone. She can't see us. Or hear us. All of this... It's because I pulled away from you. Because I couldn't hold on to you. Shion. No more time for us to rest.
Let us finish this. I entrust this blade to you once more. Hmm? What is it? While I was away, what did you do? I missed you. Alfin. But after what happened because of me... I got a glimpse of the real you. It was worth it. You could say the pain is some kind of reward. Some reward. You sure all that hurt hasn't done something to your head, too? <laughs> hey, now. <laughs> Is it just me, or are they...? It's been a while. They're just happy to see each other. I know. I mean, it's fine. We all express ourselves in different ways. Leave them be. They should get a room. Shion. Thanks. I'll be okay. Let's go. We... So... The Sovereign, the Renes Alma, the fate of Lenegas 300 years ago? Yes. That is a lot to take in, isn't it? I never realized the weight of the burden you were carrying. I could say the same. The person you kept mistaking me for. It was Naori, wasn't it? So? What do you think? Could I be her descendant? It seems likely. You two do look very similar. Kidnapping Xion, mistreating slaves, and who knows what other terrible deeds. Seriously? These so-called lords just think they can do whatever they like. I am deeply ashamed to be one of their kind. Uh, sorry, my bad. I didn't mean you, Dohalim. Do you think Volron could have been behind what just happened with Xion's thorns? I'm not sure. 
If it was bait he needed, kidnapping her should have sufficed. Perhaps he had some other purpose in mind. Her thorns aside, as a hostage, surely it would have made more sense to keep her close at hand. So why did he leave her unguarded? If getting rid of Alfin was Volron's only priority, then he could have ambushed us directly. It's not as if he lacked the power. He chose not to, which means he's toying with us, prolonging Alfin's suffering as much as he can. But why? What does Volron specifically have against Alfin? Is it because he's leading the Danon Rebellion? Possibly. But try to see it from Volron's perspective. He'd do anything to win the Crown Contest, correct? Knowing that the true Sovereign already exists somewhere is bound to ruffle his feathers. Have your paths crossed before, Alfin? Only when I've been with you guys. In the end, we just find more mysteries. What isn't a mystery is how badly we're gonna beat this creep up once we find him. <sighs> what a simple and straightforward person you are, Law. Those things that came out of Xion are her thorns, right? She said they're made of dark astral energy. She did. But those thorns are no astral art, and she cannot control them. Such immense astral energy, too. Just what are her thorns, really, I wonder? I suppose she might have an answer, but isn't yet ready to talk. Xion. Way to give us a heart attack. I wasn't sure how that was gonna pan out for a while there. I'm just glad everyone's safe. Really glad. What about you, Xion? How are you feeling? He didn't... do anything to you, did he? The... the last thing I remember is being back on the ship. Back then. Seeing Alfin's pain return to him the moment he touched me. It brought me back to my childhood. The fear in people's eyes whenever they were around me. And the next thing I knew... Darkness was welling up inside me. It was smothering me. I... I couldn't see anything anymore. I was all alone. Xion... You're okay now. You're safe, Xion. We're here with you. You're not alone any longer. Thank you. Must be Voron's Imperial Guard. They don't seem to be keeping lookout. More like they're waiting. Oh well, the royal welcome was nice while it lasted. Time to get our fists dirty, huh? Wait, we don't have a plan! As far as Law's concerned, this is the plan. Let's go! Open your eyes! This blind loyalty is just another form of slavery. Glory be to Volra! That's useless. They're brainwashed. Just like the Danon puppets we dealt with outside. Into the That's my down. This one's got your name on it! <laughs> 
Well, that didn't feel great. Those soldiers were just like the slaves, driven by a warped sense of loyalty. Yeah, that was just about as hollow a victory as they come. It's strange. I always thought loyalty was one of the greatest virtues out there. Now I'm not so sure. Is it simply a question of where your loyalties lie? Or is it fealty itself that's the problem? Maybe it only becomes a problem the moment you stop thinking for yourself. So if we defeat Volron, you think they might learn to think independently again? Actually, no, never mind. This isn't the time. We can worry about that after we finish the task at hand and defeat Volron. As expected, Volron's elite guards are quite formidable. Their equipment and training far exceed those of any foot soldier. We need to be careful not to let them exhaust us before we reach Volron. A grandiose castle for a grandiose city. He really didn't cut any corners. They're certainly akin to each other. And yet, I'd say the castle seems even more reflective of its owner's personality. In what way? It feels overbearing, tyrannical almost. But more than anything, merciless. As if any pretense to ease of living was sacrificed in favor of sending a message. One of domination, and a thirst for total power. In other words, the perfect domicile for our power-crazed foe. That's why he let us in. It's precisely the message he wanted to convey. Almost like he's mocking us. That bastard's in the mood to play? We'll see who's laughing once we've taken him down a peg or two. Let's see what you've got. Go Another incantation ruined. The enemy moves up too. You'll soon see about that. All yours, Kisara! Raging Luna Storm! Pull away! I'm not done! Small, but a victory nonetheless. We have a... Long way yet to go. It's such a huge area to search. Where should we even begin? I believe the largest, tallest structure would be best. In castles, you'll often find the things of most import are located in such areas. Spoken like someone who used to own one. Is the path being pulled up like some kind of drawbridge? I'm guessing there's no way to kick it back down, huh? Most likely, it's connected to a control apparatus of some sort. I suggest we search around and see what we uncover. Out of our way! Take it! Oh. 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 Raging Luna Storm! Oh. 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 No escape! No way! Oh. 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 Clear for us! Oh. 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 Luna Corruption! Oh. 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 Luna Flash! Oh. Dragon oh. Oh. Flash! Oh. Here oh. I come! Oh. Dance. Small, but a victory nonetheless. We have a long way yet to go. It'll take more than this to stop us. Is it just me, or is the blazing sword burning even more brightly than before? Yeah. As if the astral energy within it has become more powerful somehow. It would appear Alfin has learned to harness his sovereign abilities to even greater effect. Is that true, Alfin? I... I'm not sure. I don't think I'm doing anything differently. You're not. It's proof of your strengthened bond with Xion. No further explanations needed. Oh man, for real? Nice! Is that true? How am I supposed to know? 
<laughs> Fat lot of good the two of you are. I may have a theory or two I could offer. Yeah, no, I think we're good. Now that you mention it, though, I guess I have noticed a change. It's like there isn't as much resistance when energy's being siphoned from my Master Core. Aha! So it is a Bond thing! Aw, oh, you guys! Wait, what about your hand? That thing practically used to give you third-degree burns every time you wielded it, right? Kisara's got a point. And if it's gotten even hotter since then... I won't lie. The searing heat and pain are almost unbearable. Almost. When I'm fighting, I'm somehow able to endure it. It's like... the sword becomes part of me or something. Like I can feel it pulsing through my chest. I... can't describe it. In other words, your heart burns with a flame more powerful than even that of the sword. Fascinating. Yeah, take it from our resident poet laureate. <sighs> hmm? Sorry for attacking you when we first met. Fret not. If nothing else, it made our encounter that much more lively. I know, but I've been meaning to apologize for a while now, anyway. At this... It'll be a breeze. Get in, get out! I owe you one. They may look cute in but they're vicious! Not Do it! Not airborne scoundrel! Sounds like a job for you to prove it! Sword rain alpha! Watch this! Reload! I wonder if we can make new weapons with this. And 
Thus our strength get... It grows. Hey, what do you say we fight that shining in? Shiny mood. Right, here you go! I'm losing stone! I'll tear you up! There! Your wings are not ready for me! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! This should make for some good weapon crafting material! Hey, didn't we come through here earlier? Yeah, I think you're right. I don't know where we are anymore. But everything around us looks the same. It's easy to get turned around. Let's dispose of the trash.
coming through. we had after Almadria, you know, if you hadn't given me that advice that day, I don't know if I'd be standing here talking with you. Let's dispose of the trash. Be careful, everyone. This one is Here, let me help. Here goes! Another! 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 
you. Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. Get lost! Barely a blip on our radar. Check the owl for it. What is this place? Look! Over there! Looks like there's no backing out now! Ah, the old Roaring Beast welcome, eh? No class. Look sharp, everyone! Roll on rolling out the... That carpet? Yeah! Some hot to sound! Can we all concentrate on fighting this thing? Sword Raid Alpha! Swing on Dan! Hit him with the deity! I think he's a fork! You get the wrong side now! Calling really! Take it down! Talon Storm! Then go to you! Red and Sky! Blue away! Look! Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! You're more! Red and Storm! Red and Storm! Red and Storm! There's something in the tower! Hey, hey! We didn't ask for a replacement! Glimmer, oh, it's arts, too. You'll soon see about that! Uh, what in the world? Don't hurry! I'm alright. Still standing. It's weakened! Now you see what I can do! Take this! Focus. There's a time to congratulate me later. Nothing much I can say to that. Do it! Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! That's one of them taken care of. Should make things easier at least. All good things, do Anything in armor is Now you see what I can do! Lightning! I'll find you! All things you hear it now! Something's happening! They fuse together? We became worse by the looks of it. Is this its true form? Great 
Sword Rain Alpha! Watch this! Catapult away! Eagle Fly! Rain Scratch! 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 Did it? Everyone hanging in there? Just about. Though if we have to waste our energy on many more like that, I don't fancy our chances against Volron. We gotta try to conserve. That sound again. He must be worried we'll have a change of heart. He's certainly pulling out all the stops. Alfin, I know it's hard, but we have to stay focused on moving forward. I know. Are you doing okay, Xion? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Thanks. We don't know what else Volron's got up his sleeve. Be careful, all right? I'll go check and see if the coast is clear. What is it? Oh, it's nothing. Just wondering what that was all about. Huh? It's just, um... You don't think Xion is acting kinda weird around Alfin, do you? Like standoffish weird? Isn't she always like that? No, not that. I mean, since we rescued her. Then I guess... Maybe it's the identical ancestor thing. Maybe. I guess that could be it. You sure you're not reading into it? <sighs> what? what I say? Nothing. Just forget it. <sighs> I can never win with you. You know that? <sighs> uh... I wonder if we're getting any closer to finding Volron. I sure hope so. We'll find him. And when we do, there'll be hell to pay. Kisara, have you noticed how Xion... Seems to be grappling with something all by herself? Yeah, she's been acting differently around us ever since we rescued her. The same towards Alfin, too. Now that Alfin's regained his memories and his sense of pain, maybe she's become more self-conscious that she still has her thorns. In which case, it makes sense that she'd be feeling out of sorts. But I can't help but think there's something else, too. You're wondering if there's anything you can do to help her. Xion said something to me once. Something that helped me move forward. So I'd like to return the favor and do that for her too. The only problem is, even if I did have the chance to talk to her, I don't know what I could say that would help. Xion's dealing with a lot right now. Maybe more than she can handle. Trying to unravel the threads of her own worries? That's challenge enough itself. Not to mention that trying to wade in blindly would probably end up making things even worse than they already are. But... how do we help her then? For the time being, I think all we can do is be patient and keep an eye on her. That way, when she's finally ready to let us in, we'll be right there to lend her a shoulder. I hope you're right.
So if Volron is the Lord of the Water Realm, then it's probably safe to say he has some water abilities tucked up his sleeve. He and Alfin couldn't be any more different. It's like they were practically born to be rivals. Looking back on it, in both of our previous encounters, he's only ever fought us with his sword. We haven't seen what else he's capable of. And yet, even with only his blade, he still managed to overwhelm us. He's a force to be reckoned with. That much is certain. Yeah, that guy is seriously bad news. <laughs> It'll be okay, Hoodle. We'll get through this. <sighs> Shion? It's nothing. Let's keep moving. This area is the grandest looking of the lot, and not a single soldier in sight. So probably the place. This is it, everyone. We can't let Voron treat people's lives like toys any longer. We need to put an end to his tyranny here and now. Everyone ready? Ready. We've come this far. Without question. I'm nervous, but I know what needs to be done. We've come for you, Volron! Did you really come all this way? Just so I could take you back over his dead body? Bastard! <clears throat> he dismissed them? He must not think he needs them to defeat us. <laughs> Why have you been coming after me? Isn't it your ambition to become the winner of the crown contest? My ambition, you say? <laughs> I have no ambitions. Everything was mine to control. Everything, including your life. <laughs> I'm happy to see you. What the hell is that supposed to mean? A lonely water in the grave is all the better you shall ever deserve. And yet, it wasn't without regret that I wanted you to sink beneath those waves. Now, I get to savor carving the life of your body myself. So all this, kidnapping shit. Sacrificing the people who sound just for your own sick satisfaction to help pass the time. I would not expect you to understand the teaching that absolute power lays upon you. I've had it with your mad rambling. I'm here to take you down, Volron, and free those you've enslaved. Very well. I shall be cold, fashioning my throne from the remains of your existence. Today you will die at my hand. And I shall back in your you final death. Still, please. You can drive the forward to just avoid him down. Uh, Take me. Here I come. No escape. Now. <laughs> there. <laughs> there. <laughs> Did we get him? He's open. Let's go. Eat this. Glacial Spear! Pierce Eagle! Astral Energy! Say no more! 
It's all over. Vol run. Now put an end to that death procession you're holding outside. Right now! <laughs> you think this is over? What? Who do you think you are? <laughs> Contest. After everything we've witnessed, it would seem the whole thing is a ruse. Shall be vanished! 
There. We finally collected all of the Master Cores. So what do we do now? It is said that bringing all the Master Cores together in one place should form the Renes Alma. So, now we put Xion's with the rest. With that, we can finally free her of her thorns. going on? Are we missing something? We can't be. So why isn't it? Alfin! Behind you!
Ixion! Are you the maiden? What is this? Why is this happening? What the? The master course! Alma's only supposed to consist of the five Danon elements. Just what do you think you're doing? Disappeared? What in the world just happened? Is it over? No. It's only just begun. A month has passed. For the time being, we decided to stay put in Ganeth Haros. Even with their lord toppled, we had a long way to go before the people of Pelegion would be liberated in their hearts and minds. Lenigus hung ominously over our heads. We knew we'd need to deal with it sooner or later. We still had so many questions. The two sovereigns, the Red Woman and the Renis Alma. The present and the past of 300 years ago. Not to mention what happened to Volron's body after his defeat. Still, we were determined to keep fighting. I had my hands full taking care of everything. But in some ways I was kind of grateful to be so busy.
Are you all right? You looked like you were spacing out there. Y yeah, I'm fine. Sorry. You need something? It's about that citizen's petition. I was coming to talk to you about it. If I'm being honest, I think the problems of this realm's Danans hit close to home for me. Oh? You saw how things were in Menencia? We might have put way too much faith in Dohalim, but at least we could still think independently. The people of this realm weren't even afforded that much basic dignity. I don't know what kind of future the people here are going to ultimately choose, but whatever it is they decide, I want to help do my part so they can make that decision of their own free will. You mean like how the Danans and Renans of Menencia chose to remain committed to coexistence? It'd be nice if this was a step towards that dream. That's another issue altogether. At the very least, I want to believe all our hard work will pay off in the end. Yeah. I guess we can only focus on what we can do right now and take it from there. I'm going to go on ahead. Would you mind talking to Xion for me? Once you're ready, we'll meet up at the castle entrance like usual. We can talk more there. Right. Got it. Observatory a lot lately. Let's see if she's up there.